All right, students, continuing our discussion on various SQL queries and SQL functions and their objectives and what they do for databases and everything. And for the user, we'll now move on to something called as handling missing values. How can we handle the missing value, the null values over there? For some reason or the other, while inputting the data, there are certain null values which have come up with the data and I don't want them. I want them to be replaced by something. How can we do that? There are two very easy functions of doing it. Let's move on to the syntax of them. Let's start with the column name. First, of course, this is something that we have been doing since a long time now. Select the column names, input the column names over there. Now, let's say among these column names, there is one column name in which there are certain null values and you want to replace those null values. So what you need to do next function that you use is if null function. This is the condition, right? This is the function actually. And the function goes something like this, that column name is that column where the null values are present. If null is going to identify that column and is going to replace all the null values with the value that you have provided over here, right? So with this value, the entire null values of this particular column will be replaced. And once you're done with this, you can move on to closing your query over here by giving the table name from which table you want to do it and Ending the query with a colon is going to do the task for you and the entire all the null values of that certain column will get replaced by that value which you have given over there. The only thing that you need to worry about is that the value over here should have the same data type as the column. For example, if the column is integral, you cannot probably give a text over here, right? If it is text, then you should give text again, right? So it depends. I mean, you just have to be careful about the data type of the value that you are putting over there when you're replacing values in a certain column. Right. Let's see how that happens in SQL. But before that, we'll move on to another function called as Colase function. Right. Colase function also does the same thing. Colase function also identifies the column name and replaces it with the value. The only difference being Colase function can work on multiple parameters, whereas if null works on only one parameter over here. We'll move on to that later. But at this point of time, to replace the null values, there are two functions. One is if null, other one is Colase. And then, of course, you complete the query by giving the table name and ending the query with a colon. Let's see now how it is done in SQL. All right, guys. So now that we are in my SQL, I'll uh, use orders this particular database over here let me uh, enter it use orders and in order let me see whether product this particular table has any null value or not right so i'll just go for select star from product Right. And if I run it, it's going to give me the entire product table. I can see that there are certain product IDs over here. Right. And yes, there is a null value here in height. There's a null value. Is there any other null value over here? Okay. Length, width, height. So there is a null value in height and the same row, same product doesn't have a value for weight as well. So fortunately, unfortunately for us, there is only one null value over here where let me go for height is null right if i run this okay oh sorry forgot to put in the where clause where height is equal to null and it's going to give me the height null over here now i want to replace this null value so i'll go for the syntax select let me select everything star comma now i want to replace this column this height heights null value with let's say zero so if null, I'll just go for F null, input the column name, which is height and replace it with the value, which is zero. That's it. Now, uh, there's a problem with this one. We'll just move on to that later on. But let me complete this query first from product complete the query run it and you'll get something like this now here it is creating another column over here and it's going to replace that null value with zero can you just see height is being replaced by zero rest of the values are as it is now i don't like the name of this column it should not be the name of the function so i can give an alias for columns as well over here as new height h e i g h t and if i run it the column over here will now be called as new height similarly if i want to replace it for weight let me use a different function for weight and that is select star comma police and I'll go for weight W E I G H T replace it as again zero as new weight from product right so now what i'll do is i want to run this query so i run this query this data gets fetched now i have the new weight column over here the new weight will have the null value equal to zero right so this is how colase and if null function can be used to replace null values